to a, another video on the channel. You can see here I am wearing my England training shirt for the World Cup 20. Today we're going to be going over my Euro 2020 qualifying groups, how what where the teams are going to finish in their group. So first of all, we're going to start off with Group A and England. So there's five teams in this group, so I think England will finish first because it's quite an easy group. We've got the Czech Republic, I think will finish second, then Bulgaria, then Montenegro, then Kosovo. So that's Group A. Now Group B is made up of Portugal, Serbia, Ukraine, Lithuania and Luxembourg. So I think Portugal will finish first, Serbia will finish second, Ukraine will finish third, Lithuania will finish fourth and Luxembourg will finish fifth. So then we've got Group C which is made up of five teams. So we've got the Netherlands, Northern Ireland, Germany, Estonia and Belarus. So I think the Netherlands will finish first because they had a really good, really good National League campaign. And if Depay stays in the form that he was in during the Nations League, yeah, they're surely going to win their group. Then Germany, then Northern Ireland, then Estonia, and then Belarus. So we've got Group D, which is made up of another five teams, which is Switzerland, Republic of Ireland, Georgia, Gibraltar, and Denmark. So I think Switzerland will finish first, then Denmark, then Republic of Ireland, then Georgia, then Gibraltar. Because Gibraltar aren't a great national team. So we've got Group E is made up of Wales, Slovakia, Croatia, Hungary and Azerbaijan. I think that's how you say it. So Croatia I think will finish first. I think they had a decent Nations League campaign. Unlucky not to qualify for the finals. Uh, but they did lose this to, to my country, England. So we've got Croatia will finish first, then Wales, then Slovakia, then Hungary and then Azerbaijan. So then Group F we've got Spain in the group, Sweden, Norway, Romania... Malta and the Faroe Islands. So I think that Spain will finish in their group first, then Sweden, then Norway, then Romania, then Malta, and then the Faroe Islands. That team, was, that group was made up of six. The rest of the groups now is made up of six as well. So Group G is uh, Austria, Slovenia, Israel, Macedonia, Latvia, and Poland. So I think Poland will finish that group first, then Austria, then Slovenia, then Israel, then Macedonia, then Latvia. Group H was made up of six teams, which are Iceland, Albania, Turkey, Moldova, Andorra and France. France will finish top of their group. They had a really good, good Nations League campaign. Unlucky not to qualify for the finals, but Netherlands were definitely a better team. So we've got France will finish first, then Iceland, then Albania, then Turkey, then Moldova, then Andorra. Group I is made up of six teams. I th it, the group is, contains Russia, Scotland, Kazakhstan, Cyprus and San Mar Marino. And Belgium. So I think Belgium will finish first, then Russia, then Scotland, then Kazakhstan, then Cyprus, then San Mar Marino. I'm not 100% sure how to say that, but then Group J made up another six teams Italy, Bosnia, Greece, Finland, Armenia, and Liechtenstein. So I think Italy will finish first, then Bosnia has. I think Bosnia has had a very, very good uh, Nations League campaign, finishing top of their group. Then Finland, then Greece, then Armenia, then Liechtenstein. Very, very short video, but I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts on the Nations League groups, not Nations League, the Euro 2020 qualifying groups. If you have got any other different opinions, do let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, goodbye, and one more time. Goodbye!